Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. About quarter till seven on this Tuesday morning. Thanks for staying with us. Quick check of your forecast. We got mostly cloudy skies out there this morning. Areas of patchy fog. That's going to be an issue through about nine or ten o'clock this morning. Then we've got partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a very warm afternoon, certainly by January standards. South breezes at about five to ten miles per hour. Afternoon high today, 76 degrees, and then clouds will start rolling back into the area later on tonight. Dense fog advisory this morning. That's for all of the counties shaded and gray until 10 a.m. That's where we have uh, significantly reduced visibilities here. In fact, take a look at what uh, we're seeing right now. Uh, nearly about a half a mile uh, visibility for areas of uh, Manuel County, Jenkins, Screven County. Uh, we are going to see some areas of patchy dense fog develop in and around the metro area this morning as well. So go on and want to keep that in mind as you head out on that Tuesday morning commute. Right now we do have some cool spots on the map, especially the northern areas. 39 this morning for you folks waking up in Saluda, but we've got some very mild reading as you head south of I-20. We've got 40s for Waynesboro, Millen, even some upper 40s there for both Millen and Swainsboro this morning. Similar story over Georgia and South Carolina. Very mild, almost warm air for this time of year is already starting to build, especially just off to our west here across central Alabama, and that's actually ahead of a cold front. That cold front going to play a very big role in our forecast for tomorrow. Before today, it's just scattered cloud cover. You can see those clouds are working in from the west uh, this morning. Here's a look at this cold front. It is certainly a strong one. In fact, a severe weather outbreak possible for today across uh, portions of Louisiana, also Arkansas, southern Missouri as well. Already seeing some thunderstorms popping up early this morning. Now take a look at the forecast back to the CSRA. Just sort of a mix of sun and clouds today. I do think we're going to maintain a dry forecast. Now later on tonight, moisture is going to start to increase, so we could see a couple of isolated showers overnight. Now Wednesday is the day we're going to pay very close attention to. Take a look at the forecast forecast model here as we approach 4 p.m. tomorrow. Our model does indicate a nasty line of thunderstorms that will be marching across the area. In fact, embedded severe thunderstorms will be possible as eventually this all forms into one giant squall line and then slides across the area. This is 7 p.m. Uh, the area is still going to be under the uh, threat of some isolated severe weather. And so for that reason, the Storm Prediction Center has placed all of Georgia Carolina under that risk for some uh, severe weather. High winds look to be the main threat. An isolated tornado cannot be ruled out here. So as roll thirds Thursday and Friday, by the end of this week, it's going to be very bright. Seasonable temperatures return. Highs will be in the 50s. Morning lows right around 30. Guys, let's go ahead and get to that weather question. We're talking about the most active months for tornadoes in Georgia and South Carolina. February, March. April, May or August and September. Guys, you've had some time to think about this question and uh, this has got a lot of folks on our Facebook page kind of stumped as well. We had a lot of answers, so time to reveal what we've got this morning. Guys, what do you think? You know, it should have been an easy one and I yeah. was drawn to B, but I had to go with A because a. of uh, early spring weather. Okay, Mary says A and, and Chris. I'm going with, with B. B. Oh, wow, different answers. Barkley, what you got? I went with B because I feel like I remember doing a lot of tornado stories around that time. Oh, okay. So going back and to the back of tricks there. What I was think? thinking about the tornado that, Is that right that that hit around Masters week yeah, a couple okay. years ago. All right. Well, guys, the answer is B. Oh, you're right, Chris nice. Barkley. You're Gosh. right. Should have gone with done. my first instinct. Told you. <laughs> yeah, you know, you post a picture on Facebook just a few minutes ago <laughs> saying that you were very sure about this one, Barkley. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you get help, Barkley? Yeah. Chris? Uh, no. No, of course I'm not. not. Gonna, I'm not going to talk trash about it if I'm not going to get it right. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks a lot, guys. Time to uh, see our coffee club.